Hello. In John Bentley's book, Programming Pearls, he describes seven segment displays uh, in this section here. And he invites us to write a program that displays five digit numbers in the seven, using a seven segment display. So I've decided to do that using Unity and C Sharp. Here's what it looks like. Right now it just shows a new random number every second. All right, let's look at how that works. Here's a multi-digit number, which is an empty object with a script attached. And in the prefabs, we have a segment display, which is this. And that's, that contains seven of these segments. And the segments are made in Blender. Uh, I took a cube and I reshaped it. I put a cut along here and then um, pulled out to make the kind of uh, arrow tips. Let's look at how this works. Um, let's start with the number generator, which every second calls the set number method on the multi-digit number. Now let's look at multi-digit number. The purpose of this is to manage one or more of the seven segment displays. So we have the prefab here. And then we have a variable that says a maximum number of digits. And then this displays array is created by going over from uh, zero to one less than the max digits and instantiating a segment display for each digit and positioning them uh, all on the, along the x-axis. Uh, separated by horizontal spacing, which is just the bounds of the mesh with a little spacing. And then there's the set number method, and that's where it goes through each of the seven segment displays that make up the multi digit number and if we um, have already presented a zero in the rightmost digit, then we'll turn off the rest of them. Otherwise, we extract the rightmost digit using the modulo operator. So digits modulo 10 gives you the rightmost digit. And then we set that digit in the particular display. And then we do an integer divide on digits to just shift the decimal digits to the right by one column. All right, now the seven segment display itself. The, um, the segments have either the on material or the off material. And so here's a segment, let's see, the materials. That's the off material down at the bottom here. And that's the on material. And we have seven segments. This shape class I'll come back to in a moment. And this is how the book numbers the segments. So the horizontal segments are 0, 1, and 2, and then 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the digit 0 has every segment illuminated except number one, so except for that center segment. And the digit one just has four and six lit. So you get the idea of how this block of code creates the shapes 
uh, made up of segments for the numbers 0 through 9. Okay, well, how does it work? What is this new shape thing, and what's the constructor? Let's look at this now. We store the, we store which segments are on in a byte of bits. Here in the constructor, you see we create the value for this byte of bits using aggregate, which is a functional reduce method. And we start with a zero, and then for each one of the segment indexes, that are passed as parameters. So for example, in the case of the shape of the number 0, it's 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So for whatever numbers are passed in, we are going to or on or turn on the bit corresponding to that segment index. And then later we want to know whether the particular digit has a segment with the given segment index. That's what this method does. OK. This is the digit currently showing. This function sets a digit, calls light segments. I guess we'll look at that next. So here's light segments here. And this goes for every segment. It gets the renderer the Unity component that um, has a material. And then we determine whether the segment is on. And if it is, we set the material to the on material, otherwise to the off material. And then turn off just sets all of those renderers to have their material be the off material. And then in Awake, that's where we find the segments game object and get all of the renderers underneath it. Get the renderers in all, all of its children. So I'll just show you that here. Um, so here's the, here's the segment display. Here's the segments game object. And then all of these game objects underneath have a renderer, in this case, a mesh renderer. OK, I'll leave it there. I like solving these kinds of puzzles, and it gives me a chance to play around with Unity some more and learn some new things. See you next time.